Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsus T. Welcome to another day in Minecraft, still without mining. And behind me, you see two more of our farming structures that we will encase in towers in due time. I have been working on something, but looking at it, you can see the structures are pretty close. So getting a tower or two around them is a bit tricky. So first things first, we have to move things around a bit. For one, this shoot to load our smelter has to go a bit in your direction. And then probably this tower here, which houses our rule farm and cactus farm on top, which is the easier to move, also has to move quite a few blocks. I don't know how many yet. We will figure that out as I'm still working on the design. Last time we created an ink farm for a black dye and the new building will use quite a bit of black glass, also some cyan glass, but instead of the quartz that we have used back there in the Taipei 101 tower, we will use a color scheme that goes well with cyan glass, which means we have to build a farm for that as well. But enough rambling, let's get started. I will move some things around here so we can then have a look at the, that farm we will have to build. First part is successfully achieved. I wiggled this bit around here so it's down there squeezed in a bit and then we have the lift up tower on this side and that basically just clears the tower that goes in place around this part of the building. So next thing we want to do is we need to get some prismarine uh, from an ocean temple and uh, we will build a small cheaty farm because I don't see that we need huge amounts. Uh, so a simple setup would suffice that could give us prismarines and uh, possibly also sea lanterns, which would be nice as an alternative uh, light source for our builds. So uh, let's see what we can do about that. We are at our raid farm here and while the sun is rising, I can tell you, I don't plan to update this world to 1.21 because this would basically make this farm obsolete and well that's not a bad thing on itself with the uh, concept of the series and no mining and relying on villager trading for quite uh, a few items it's essential to have good income of uh, emeralds so there's that and the whole aspect of uh, of the uh, uh, auto crafter which is a nice thing and uh, i originally intended to add a mod later on in this series uh, to bring in such such a feature uh, i think we will explore that in kind of a different direction uh, in the next season because I do like playing Minecraft uh, in different kind of settings so there will be season 3 of another day but we are uh, out here uh, because over there, somewhere there is an ocean monument that I cleared out and we will build uh, a guardian farm based on ENXO4's uh, tutorial. So instead of going through all the process and all the steps, uh, you check out his video 
and uh, I'll bring you back once I have done all the, the tweaking and uh, uh, fiddling around and then maybe we can go through some some of the things that are important there. The concept is pretty simple. Down on top of the monument there is soul sand which creates bubble column so any spawn guardians will be pushed up through the uh, scaffolding where they will hop along until they eventually run into one of the portals which lead to the nether side where there is a killing chamber. And with uh, the uh, spot that we have here uh, that's specifically chosen in a manner so that uh, the guardians uh, can only spawn in the nearest corner of the ocean monument and this uh, works out well because uh, the spawn is a sphere and of course we have this this uh, shape here going down to the to the outside so basically we can use the uh, the whole height of uh, the outside of the of the monument uh, as spawning space and as you can see down there there are quite a few ender guardians on top of the scaffolding so i'm hoping just standing here a little while will accumulate um, the drops on the nether side sufficiently so we do have enough material for our next project. So I will stay here a bit and then we can have a look uh, what we have got at the nether side. While we do not catch the guardians coming through the portal on the nether side, from the drops you can see that they made an appearance here on this side and by the looks of it the hoppers uh, are too slow to deal with uh, with the complete um, bulk of drops that that we have here so uh, basically this is uh, five by two area uh, that all goes over these sorters here uh, and maybe I should just replicate the sort array uh, on the other side so we can have half and half uh, because uh, we really want maybe not the fish uh, but these uh, uh, glowing things what's what they are called prismarine crystals uh, so we can make some uh, lanterns out of it. Uh, just what was already sorted, full chest here, full double chest here, this is starting to fill up, but uh, the, the crystals uh, not so much yet. Uh, and that's probably because uh, we are basically backlogged with the, with the shards. But it is the shards that we need for our next build. We need some some prismarine blocks, but we need quite a bit of prismarine bricks, or more precisely slabs, and then also some some dark prismarine. And for that, we already have created our uh, squid farm to get all the black dye for that. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will probably spend quite a bit of time uh, here uh, or in the overworld uh, to gather the materials for the build that we need. Uh, and then I think there's also some more prep work with, with our farms. Uh, we still need to move the, the one tower uh, into a better position 
and then we can actually build our next two skyscrapers in the next episode. All right then, see you in the next episode. Bye.